In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the profit summary sheet on this eBay dropshipping Excel system. And the purpose of this is to actually give you a daily summary of your profits. And the way it works is that you're going to add dates to this table and the table will automatically grow. So for instance, I will put March 26th for the date and you'll see that automatically it's going to calculate the total payments, the total fees, cost of goods and everything for that day. And I'm going to go to the order sheet to show you what it's doing. Right, so here's the order I had for my previous videos, and here's a fake, another fake order I just added in. As you can see, uh, the total payment for this order was fifty dollars. Right, the first one was thirty-seven fifty-three. So as you can see on the profit summary sheet, it just simply added those total payments together. Right, it does the same thing for the fees. Right, and again, everything from that day, from that day of March twenty-sixth, all right, will be added together. See these two orders 383 and $3 so any order that sold okay the important thing is this is the sold date any order that sold on March 26th will it will calculate the total payments it will calculate the total fees it will calculate the total cost of goods for the for those orders that sold on that day the initial profits the cash back the total profits and the profit loss now let me talk a little bit about the profit loss but before I do that, the net profit is, of course, the total profits minus the profit loss. By profit loss, I mean the actual amount of profit that you lost. And this is coming from the returns and refunds. All right. It's looking for this date, March 26th, and it is not looking for it here. It's looking for it here, the buyer refund date. So what it's doing is it's looking at the date that you actually refunded the buyer and it's counting that as a loss on that day. Why I don't count the loss on the day it was requested is because sometimes people request a refund, a return, you give them the label and they don't even return the item. So it's not even, it it's becomes like nothing, the return gets closed. I want to count the return when the, I actually have to give the money back, right? Which is the, so if I had to give the money back on the 26th, okay, then then that would be the buyer refund, right? And I need to actually fix this so it makes more sense. Okay, um, and that's how this would work. Okay, uh, so then that gives you your net profit. All right. Um, you then have the margin and the markup, which of course is your profit percent of sale and your profit percent of cost of goods. Now more about this, all right? You can actually continue to add more dates if you put the 27th. I don't have any orders in here yet for the 27th, but I can guarantee you if you have anything sold and you put the dates in here and all these dates are the same for these same orders, it will add all those orders together and give you the results in here. Okay, that's that's just how it works. Um, another thing you can do here is continue. Okay, great thing about Excel, if you click on a date, you put the mouse in the lower right hand corner, you get this little small plus sign, you click there and you just drag the mouse down, you're going to see the dates automatically fill in. Alright, so you uh, might have a whole month of orders and you can actually pull and drag all the way down throughout your whole month of orders and when you scroll down the top will lock and you can continue to go down and look at it day by day this is what I do now um, one other beautiful thing with this filter is you can take this alright click the filter I'm gonna turn select all which means turn everything on or everything off I'm gonna turn them all off and then I'm going to select a particular month March or I could select a particular year if I wanted to right but I'm just going to select a particular month, March. And there you have it. It will only show the March dates. Okay, and that will show your total uh, profits for only those dates. Another great thing you can do after this, you go up in the upper right hand corner, you click on Table Design. Okay, this is called a table in Microsoft Excel, a formatted table. You're going to click on Table Design up here and you scroll over you find this option which says, which says total row and you click on total row when you do that this gives you the ability to add all of these together so if you want to see how much you got paid in total for this day you click this arrow you click sum 
There's your sum for the day. 8753. Okay? If you want to see your total fees for the day, you can select sum, total fees. Let's see how much profits we made initially for the day. Click on not for the day, but for this month or whatever, right? 1543. Total profits you just use sum. Okay, maybe you want to see the average profit okay that you're making right uh, so you have these different choices you can just do some 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 of your net profit so you know that you this is how much you made remember you're gonna have numbers in here it's gonna fill in automatically now one thing about this is that uh, this particular sheet um, the way I have presented this uh, to you is not protected so you can very easily delete these and these formulas are you know as you can see I mean for the average a uh, person are not simple formulas to recreate all right so um you know just don't delete anything here this is this is for uh looking at only read only right you should only be reading these and of course you can turn on the total uh when you want to and you can turn it back off table design you can turn that back off you can go here turn off the filter by going to clear filter all right, and then again, you can scroll up and down to see your results. All right, so this is really all for the purpose of analysis. So do not play around with this, or you know, I mean, if you do, um, you can always go back to my original copy once you get a copy, and you can always fix it that way. I suppose you just copy the formulas over. But um, yeah, that's basically how this works. So um, again, if you don't have already have a copy of this um, eBay Dropshipping Complete Excel system, make sure you do get a copy of it uh, with the link through the description of the video. And um, again, any comments, suggestions, or questions on the system or anything about it, I would really like to hear because um, this system is based on my own experience and uh, what I went through when I started um, eBay Dropshipping and um, the things I found that I needed to be able to automate and since I had the ability to do it um, I used my ability to do that and to automate certain processes um, using Microsoft Excel so but um, I can't always think of everything and um, so you might have certain ideas that you can give me or things that you might want to change or so let me know what you like what you don't like or whatever and I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you on another video.